We are on Abaco Island after Hurricane Dorian to assess the impact to bird species, which include the Abaco parrot, to support our partners here at the Bahamas National Trust. The primary nesting area is within the Abaco National Park. So what we're doing is creating a sample plot for us to identify the species of tree that are in that sample plot. We're quantifying how much food availability there is for our birds. You have a number of Enodia flowers here. Poison wood, five berries. And then love vine flowers. Each one of these would be a little snack for a parrot. Parrots will take a closed cone like this and they'll start ripping open these tabs and pulling out the pine seed. We know that there have been parrots here. We're recording all the birds that we see inside this area or that we hear within a three minute time period. Then we can compare these across all the sites and we can kind of determine the distribution of the parrots after the hurricane passed through along with the other bird species. That's the Bahama yellowthroat. When I studied in the U.S., I got a really good understanding of prairie ecosystems. When I came home, I was like, what? I don't even know what's in my backyard. And so we rely on these ecosystems to protect us. In the Bahamas specifically, we need vegetation to break up the effects of storms like this. We manage 32 national parks across the Bahamas. Our partnership with Audubon has been around since the 1950s when the Inagua National Park was established to protect the West Indian flamingo populations there. And we've been working with them ever since. We are in the east side of Abaco. Casuarina Point is a known shorebird location and we are thrilled to see that the piping plovers have come back and are using the area. As we're driving north towards Marsh Harbor, you can see the damage from the storm is increasing. This is in Marsh Harbor. This is where Hurricane Dorian made its, made its landfall, about 40 miles north of where the pirate breeds. They have been sighted here before. I didn't expect to see them after this because, you know, I figured they ain't coming up here, ain't nothing up here to eat. Everything's gone. They may want to help us to rebuild. <laughs> <laughs> they say, you know, this is our home too, you know, we gotta go help. The numbers were really low back in the 80s due to predation and other factors. So despite it all, the disaster, me losing my home, my wife, and my two daughters made it through alive. Again, you have to persevere and push through it all.